Hey guys, Muffinella here. Today I'm showing you how to download, install, and use CCTV plugin for Minecraft multiplayer. So we've got a little hut here, so a little secret base, and we've got two cameras. Well, we've got two screens. The screens are grey wall or black wall. I've chosen black wall, so we've got two screens here. And the camera is a dispenser. So I've got it in my hand. Let's go place the camera. Where should I put it? Put up the camera up here. Place it down, and then you want to do slash CCTV create camera, and then the camera name, so I'm just going to call it Matt. Then you want to left click it, so make sure you're not in game mode for this. I'm just going to left click it, there we go. Okay, so now you can, if you want to change it to um, public so that everyone can use it, just type CCTV. Modify public true. There you go. Now the camera's set to public. Do game of one again. Go back to our secret base and we'll make the screen. Okay, so what you want to do for this is type slash CCTV create and instead of camera, type in screen. And we'll call it matte again. Now you want to right click on the black wall or grey wall. And now you want to link the two screens and camera together. So what we want to do is do slash CCTV link and then the camera name which is matte and then the screen name which is matte. So there we go. Now we've it. So to view the camera just right click the black wall. There we go. As you can see you can see around, we can't move though. As you can see you can see the camera. Then to exit, just right click again, or do slash slash, CC, no, slash CCTV exit. And now we're going to do the 360, which is so you can go all the way around on the camera. So let's make the screen, so slash CCTV create screen. Let's call it 360. Then I need to right click on the screen. Now I have to go make a camera. So it is, it's a obsidian or sponge, not a dispenser, just obsidian or sponge. Let's make it um, on here. Let's put a obsidian block. Let's take it down there. And what you want to do is do slash CCTV create camera and call it 360 again. You don't have to call it 360, you can call it whatever you want. And you want to left click on the box, so change game mode zero again, survival, left click on the box, then make the camera public, there we go, let's go into our hut, and make the screen, oh the screen's already made, so now we want to link them, so slash cctv link, 360 camera name and the screen name 360. So now the created, so you want to right click thing and now you can have a 360 view. So this would be good so if you want to go check out your mob trap. As you can see, this is a zombie spawner. It's working. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to install the plugin to your Minecraft server. And if you don't have a Minecraft server, you can get a free one from Minecraft Pocket Server. Just click on the annotation above. The annotation above will take you to a video of one of my tutorials, and it will show you how to make a Minecraft Pocket Server for free. Okay, so let's go to installation. Okay, guys, so here we are on our installation part. What you want to do is go to the description and download the CCTV camera mod plugin, and um, just put it on your desktop or wherever you want to put it open it up and then you'll have all this you don't actually have to do this because it's a dot jar so all you have to do is just have this and then yeah so what you want to do is you want to go on um, your server so here we go I've got a YouTube server here and I have all my servers so you're going to go into your plugin directory and as you can see I've already had CCTV camera here and then I'm just going to transfer the jar back into my, my plugin server on my server and there it is so that's as simple as as ever 
So what I'm going to do now is go into it and you can open up the YML. So I'm going to open it. Oh, nope, sorry. Open it. I'm going to open it with a notepad. Oh, actually, yeah, notepad. It's the worst thing to use, but oh well. So here we go. We have the. You can change the name. You have the commands. And there we go. Uh, this is just a, just the plugin YML. You don't really need to do anything to this. So exit out of that. And you'll have the project file and the class path file. These are basically just the files that you need for the uh, plugin to run. So you don't really need any, to do anything with that. And here we just have the CCTV and we have the classes, have the have the class, all the class files. Yeah. And yeah, that's all. That's really all you need to do is just push in, get in the jar, and put it into your YouTube directory, plugin directory. Okay, so um, I hope this tutorial has helped you out, and be sure to subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys later. Take care.